Welcome to the IC3D training video, Ray Tracing Part 2, Materials and Environments. We again will be using the bottle of water you see on your screen to demonstrate these techniques. Drag the model from the model library into the scene. Select the lighting panel and choose an environment map from the environment dropdown. Make a background color for the scene by clicking on the top button and making this white. And repeat this by clicking on the bottom button, also making this white, to give a pure white background. You can also create a surface on which to place the bottle to cast some shadows and reflections using the new dynamic shelf within the Shelf Visualizer template. Click and drag the template onto the scene. This will open the Shelf Visualizer template window. Click the Unit Style dropdown and select Dynamic Shelf. Then click the Add to Scene button. Once you have finished setting up your model, materials, and environment, it's ready for ray tracing. Open the ray tracing preview window. This can be found on the menu bar under Window. It's called the Rays Renderer. This gives you a preview of what your model will look like when rendered. You can dock this window anywhere within your user interface, as you can with all the other windows. Click the Start button within the Preview window to get a real-time preview of what your rendered model will look like. This image was rendered at 64 samples. You can render previews from 32 to 1,024 samples. The more samples you use will give you a better quality render. But note that the more samples you use, the slower your render preview time will be, as you can see happening by selecting 256 samples. Also, if you move and resize the preview window, the slower your preview time will be, as you can see. The reason we give you the ability to preview your rendered model in real time is so that you can make any final amendments to model materials, lighting, shadow effects, or model position before exporting your high-res finished rendered image, as this can take some time depending on the size and quality of your exported image. This is not quite the effect we are looking for to create our plastic water bottle. We need to amend our model materials so that we can achieve the desired effect. Expand the bottle model in the Object Editor window and select the material glass, bottle clear to best simulate a smooth, clear plastic. Double-click it to open the Material Editor window. There have been some changes to the way we create and edit materials to use them for ray tracing. It is important to note that you need to select the correct material option in the Ray Tracing Template drop-down menu. In this example, we will select Glass. Other things to note are the levels of shine, refraction, and transparency needed when replicating glass or clear plastic. You need to know the correct level of refraction for your materials. You can find a list of material refraction online via a Google search. The correct level of refraction for glass is 1.089, so we will use this to create our clear plastic bottle effect. We will leave the transparency level where it is. If we click the Start button in the Preview window again, we can instantly see the effect that our material changes have made to our model, and that this now looks like a clear plastic bottle. Next, we need to amend the liquid color so that it resembles water. Click Save on the bottle material and select the liquid material in the Object Editor window. Double-click it to open the Material Editor window. Edit the diffuse color by clicking the Edit Diffuse Color icon and select a white color. This will amend the color of the liquid inside your bottle on your model in the OpenGL format. Repeat this process for the specular color. You need to repeat this process for the reflective and transmissive colors, which is important for ray tracing liquids. 
we need to enter the correct refraction level for water, which is 1.325, and make sure Liquid is selected in the Ray Tracing Template drop-down menu. Another helpful tool when creating liquids is the Liquid Density Slider. Water is not a very dense liquid, so we'll set this to 5. If we're dealing with thicker liquids, then we would set this higher. Click the Save button to save your amendments, select 64 samples in the preview window, and click Start to preview the model again. We now have the correct materials for our plastic bottle and liquid water effects. Lastly, we need to amend the material for the screw cap on top of the bottle. Select the cap in the Object Editor window, expand it, double-click on the material, Plastic Cap, Aqua Blue, to open the Material Editor window. Select the Plastic Material option from the Ray Tracing Template drop-down menu. Then input the correct refraction level for plastic, which is 1.460. Also important to know that when creating some materials for ray tracing, the roughness level is a key factor, especially with plastics, metals, and paper. We're going to set the roughness level to 45 for this example. As you can see, if you do not pause your preview window, you get an instant real-time update preview to any changes you make to your materials. Select the lighting panel and choose to use any environment map from the Environment drop-down menu to light your model for ray tracing. As before, you can select to place your model in the environment by clicking the Background Environment Map Radio button. Click the Start button in the Preview window to see the new background and lighting effects. Move your model around within the environment to see real-time updates of lighting and environment effects in your preview window. This concludes the IC3D Tutorial Video Part 2, Ray Tracing, Materials, and Environments.